night is so slow. My fangs are just dry with boredom. The people here are so dull. I hoped for more excitement tonight. It is a crescent moon by chance. The lunar energy should invigorate the humans around here, not tire them out. I didn't come out of the shadows to have a bad time tonight. Wait a minute. That man over there keeps looking at me. Hmm. Well, he is very handsome indeed. Bold eyes. His jaws, Maxila, looks like he could cut paper. But his steps are cautious, yet commanding. Hello, stranger. Has this evening been boring for you as well? <laughs> oh, I see. No one caught your interest? Oh, my, my. And I'm the only person in this entire establishment that has piqued your curiosity? Well, you know what they say. Curiosity killed the cat. You're not afraid to die? Huh. You're daring, if not unusual, for being a bachelor in a nightclub. Oh, you're not a bachelor? Then pray tell, what are you then? A man who knows what he wants. <laughs> That's rich. You sound like you came out of a poorly made for television rom-com. But I can respect a man that is certain of his desires. As am I. What's my name? Well, you haven't told me yours. And by this point... Let's not ruin the evening with wasteful introductions. We won't see each other again, so knowing each other's names won't mean anything when the dawn returns to the sky. And you agree? Well, this evening has become most interesting indeed. Oh, you may have a seat. You don't have to stand up all evening. I still find it interesting that a man like you doesn't have his own company in a nightclub like this. You would think that you would have a group with you, or an entourage. You stand alone, you say. Huh, that's interesting for you to say. Hmm? Why do I say that? Because I do the same thing. I don't belong to anyone, nor does anyone belong to me. <laughs> You'd like to change that. You're a bold man. I like that. Waiter, please refresh my glass. And for you, dear sir, do you like Chardonnay? <laughs> oh, I bet you do. Two glasses, please, good sir. Thank you. Thank you, waiter. So handsome. Cheers to our timely meeting. <laughs> Nothing warms my soul like a nice glass of Chardonnay. Oh, you are a man who knows his alcohol delights too? <laughs> You continue to surprise me. You seem too good to be true, though. Why is that? <laughs> I seem that way as well, Mr. Man? Hmm. Well, we owe it to ourselves to have our own secrets and mirages. Wouldn't you agree? What do I mean by that? <sighs> Take a look at this place. Not with your eyes by your heart. Look at the faces of everyone here. Their bodies say one thing, but their minds are trying to forget the night before. People are trying to dance their blues away and ease their own hearts. 
It can be a lonely place, but I'm a drifter stranger. I never stay in one place. And by the looks of it, neither do you. How am I so inquisitive? I'm what you call a very soulful being. <laughs> I'm wise beyond my years, and I've seen enough in my life to see what others are hiding on the inside. <laughs> well, thank you for agreeing so, as I presume that you are just as intelligent and astute, handsome. So, I challenge you to dance with me, of course, on the dance floor. If you can dance better than me, you can win something. What do you get? Hmm. Well, you can kiss me if you want. <laughs> but don't get too suggestive, handsome. If I win, I get to kiss you. Deal? All right. Let's go. <laughs> well, that was fun. So I suppose I lost the bet. Oh, you wound me, handsome. I didn't lose on purpose that you could make the first move. Let's just say it was... Fate for you to play your part. So, playboy, what are you going to do to me now? <laughs> hmm. <sighs> you are a rare breed indeed. Hmm? You want to be private now. Well, the alleyway is quiet and dark. Hardly anyone goes out that way. I'll lead this time. Hmm. I think it's time we stop lying to each other, Hunter. I knew you would come for me tonight. The smell of rosewood. Your home the body, your predatory gaze, and the way your eyes darted across the room, fearing I would kill you on instinct at any moment? You're a vampire hunter, and I'm your prey. Or so you thought. Considering all the beasts that roam this realm, and I'm the only one you seek? Who sent you? Your superiors? The ones that probably tracked me? and send you to eliminate me? Be silent. I know you're lying to protect yourself. And as a worthy adversary, I commend that. So enough charades. How do we end this night? Do you kill me? Or do I kill you? <laughs> hmm. You don't want to kill me. <laughs> the moment I let my guard down, you'll shoot me dead. You expect me to believe that you would disobey your commanders for a vampire like myself? I don't know if you're crazy or stupid, but I think you're both human. For what it's worth, I did enjoy your company, even if I knew it was a ruse all along. So then, if it's not my death you wish, then what do you want from me? Information. Hmm. About what? An abandoned cemetery? You think I stay around dark and dreary cemeteries because I'm a vampire? <laughs> you need to get out more. And if I help you find this place, you won't try to hunt me again? 
and you'll tell your superiors I am already eliminated off your list? Hmm. This gets more and more interesting. Fair trade, human. But I think you'll need more protection than I do. Why? Because you've broken the sanctity of your vows and parlayed with a monster like me. They would strip you of your title and your merits. For whatever they're worth. Tell you what. Here's my proposal, human. If you're worth the trouble, I'll watch your back if you watch mine. And if you keep your word. Because if you don't, the wind won't be able to hear me come for you. Deal? All right, Hunter. May the night never leave your body cold. Hmm? What is my name? It's Aura. My name is Aura. <laughs>